the Gender Mainstreaming Evaluation Framework. Chapter 1. Gender Mainstreaming as a Strategy to Achieve Women's Empowerment and Gender Equality. With the milestone passage of Republic Act 9710, or the Magna Carta of Women, gender mainstreaming as a strategy became an integral part of the design, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of policies and programs of government agencies as well as local government units. But what is gender mainstreaming? Imagine yourself in the middle of a stream. The view is perfect and convenient if you are at the center, giving you a complete view of your whole environment. Same with the concept of gender mainstreaming. Gender issues and concerns of both women and men must be put at the center instead of remaining at the sidelines to fully address them. That means we must bring our efforts to achieve gender equality into the mainstream decision-making criteria and processes and pursue them from the center rather than the margins. To put it simply, gender mainstreaming is a strategy to make women's as well as men's concerns and experiences an integral dimension of policies and programs in all social, political, civil, and economic spheres. Remember, gender mainstreaming is not just about adding a women's component into an existing activity. It goes beyond increasing women's participation. It means bringing the experience, knowledge, and interests of women and men on the development agenda. It may require changes in goals, strategies, and actions so that both women and men can influence, participate in, and benefit from development processes. The ultimate goal of gender mainstreaming is to achieve women's empowerment and gender equality. 